Hey guys, we're back again. It's your water cooler on the, this little corner of the internet live in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, it's the Movie Minute. I'm uh, Mike Sork here. Uh, just uh, uh, you know, push the buttons, turn the knobs, making this thing go. But the man who knows and follows and watches way more movies than I even have the opportunity to. Malengo on the couch today in studio. Good to see you here in a less pixely format. Yes, this is very true. How's it going, Mike? Oh, going good. Going good. Going good. Did you see any movies this weekend? I No, no, no. <laughs> I saw a lot of wrestling this weekend. I did a lot of traveling. I did not necessarily see movies proper. Oh, so. you, you, you disappoint me. But I it's okay. You. It's okay. I, I'm sure that you were much more productive with your time than I was. Okay. Actually, this wasn't a big week for me in movies. Um, I saw. I didn't see any of the ones that opened this weekend. I didn't see the Escape Plan. I didn't see Carrie. <laughs> I I skipped them all. Just a, just a, in avoidance, as in like we kind of talked you out of it last week, or or nah, what? Uh, so the thing that happened with Carrie was, I mean, life. So <laughs> <laughs> couldn't get out to see. I actually could not get out to see a movie, but uh, I did see a free movie. So I guess I did get out to see a movie. It was well, just a good. free movie. That's so it's an early preview for About Time. Okay. Um, sorry for you, Mike. It looks like uh, Google Docs did not update its little thing here. What's up? It's showing me the uh, old stuff from uh, Captain Phillips. I got it. Oh, you got it? I got it over here. Awesome. So tell me about time. So Tell me about about time. <laughs> how, how does this work? I don't, I don't understand. So this is a this is an interesting movie. Um, it was kind of a weird one because I was going into it thinking, uh, you know, I see uh, Rachel McAdams in it. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is a chick flick. Mm -hmm. This is this is definitely a movie that I don't want to see. I still uh, Bill Bill Nighy from like all of those British movies, <laughs> and I'm just like, there's no way I'm gonna like this. But I will admit, I'm a sucker for these kind of movies mm -hmm. and uh the director uh richard curtis um his list of movies that he's done are all along this it was funny that this was labeled as sci-fi uh i think it was like sci-fi drama uh what was it yeah so sci-fi drama comedy this looks like it's kind of a a butterfly effect sort of situation uh, like like a little it looks no, like just they, re it's not time? butterfly Mm -hmm. They do explain it. The best way to say it is three movies in one. Okay. Um, in in you know sequence. Yeah. With that character's timeline, the the time thing isn't. It's explained in a way that you kind of you get over it pretty quickly. It, it's not. They explain a lot of stuff for that, mm -hmm. but um, it's not. It's not so much a love story as I would say. It was more like a finding yourself type movie okay like uh uh like elizabeth town uh garden state you, you saw garden state no oh, no geez. no kind of curious after hearing about that kickstarter situation oh though. man but yeah i mean the director did notting hill bridget jones diary and love actually yeah. so that's what you're walking into so but ultimately i mean I, I didn't think it was bad. I know Rotten Tomato right now. I think they're having it at a sixty-six percent. Uh, so I mean, that's I mean that's Rotten Tomato. Like we said, we don't really take those ratings to heart. No, but, but um, just a guide. If you want to, if you definitely want to score points with the lady, I would say go see it. If you're just extremely bored for some reason, <laughs> I I still don't think this is the movie you're gonna see. Um, but I mean, it it's not bad it's not great okay. I, it's, it's not, just it's not there. the it's not the movie that i i you know i stand in line for okay all right all right all right yeah it, it seems like i mean it, it looks like i mean it looks like one of those kind of quirky uh not quirky really but, but one of those kind of uh, off the off kilter uh independent movies to me that I would pick up and enjoy on Netflix, like something weird, like like have you ever seen Cashback on there, or or, or something, or like yeah. a Go kind of movie, you know? And, and to mean, be honest, for the kind of movie this was, it kind of released kind of early. This yeah. is the kind of thing you see around Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas, mm -hmm. really, you know, 
sap up those. I'm at home from school and I got nothing to do. Yeah. Let's go see a movie with the family. Aww. Aww. But leading into that, this this weekend's lineups were pretty interesting. Gravity still held strong, which mm-hmm. is surprising, but not really surprising because I still want to go see this in 3D. Uh, Captain Phillips holding strong at number two. And Carrie, the big one that opened last week, only came in at number three, which isn't bad. Yeah. But I think it's interesting that you still have Gravity and Cap and Captain Phillips that are holding that first two spots. So, obviously, I guess people weren't really ready for Halloween movies, or this just wasn't the one that they really cared about. I think people, I think people are getting a little tired of, of remakes like this. That could be, be That could be true, too. But, um... But yeah, I mean, so that was the weekend that was. Mm-hmm. So, how about we roll into a, a break? What do you got for us? Um, yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're <laughs> live. And you don't have the docs to let me know there is no break. But I could take a second to tell you uh, to go check out SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. We just posted today, of course, uh, our great nonprofit news show. If you are in the Pittsburgh area like we are, uh, a lot of stuff going on. A lot, a lot of uh, cool stories uh, today about uh, Food Bank on the north side and a groundbreaking in the Hill District on its really cool community community center, and the giant ducks on there. If for nothing else, you want to see what the heck is this giant duck Ugh, about? The duck. We, uh, well, we did not get to get down there because our filming day, it was raining, but we uh, had some great contributors, uh, friends on Twitter and Facebook, uh, uh, left us a lot of, of photos. I actually did get down there Saturday and got to take a little bit of footage. Uh, so, so, But we got to utilize the green screen, right? Uh, as you can, uh, you in studio here could see right over there, we got to use that. It turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm really happy with it. So go check that out. Uh, SorgatronMedia.com uh, and all the other stuff. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, sign up for our newsletters, both creators and if you uh, just want to see what we're putting out. Uh, we have two newsletters up there uh, right on the right side there uh, under the uh, uh, Sorgatron Media in your inbox uh, little sign. Um, and, and just just check out what we're doing around here on the network. If you like pro wrestling, it is definitely the place because we do a lot of that too. So, uh, what's the first story you got here for me, Malengo? All right, so I'm going to run down the news, and uh, I the one that I really want to talk about, I think I'm going to hold off for last, which is uh, I definitely want to talk about Avatar. That caught me off guard. <laughs> so we're going to. I heard rumblings of this before, uh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So let's just. I'll do the quick rundown. Okay. There's an Armstrong movie coming. As in Lance Armstrong, not Stretch. Yes. Because I, I need a distinction there. As in La- Lance <laughs> Armstrong. My question is, uh, Ben Foster's in this. I looked him up, and um, I can kind of see a likeness. But the big thing for me is, after his doping incident, do we really care? I mean, first of all, cycling is a, a specific type of thing i don't think this is so much about cycling as as the lance armstrong, the lance story. armstrong story oh. i mean he overcame but then he effed up right i mean that there's a story there that that transcends the sport i believe but it's gonna just have a cloud of of just doom and you know what the ending is that's the problem with these kind of you movies you know what the ending it's a, know, it's a biography you know what the ending is Man, I don't JFK is going to get shot at the end of this one. You know? <laughs> no, I mean, he survived. I mean, I, I kind of even knew how Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter was going to end in the long run, right? Uh, okay, another... Uh, I was looking up the next generation of love type of movies. And I mean type as in parentheses. If you like these kind of movies. Like the what we just talked about, Love Actually. That whole sequence kind of had like a group of actors that kind of came with that that genre a lot of it was the british people but yeah. you kind of had that it seems like the american type of movies i mean i know will smith was in that really cheesy one but for the most part it's weird when you see this cast uh we have the uh, what was the the black kid's name Uh-oh. sorry i described him as the black kid <laughs> hmm. <laughs> really uh do you have that picture is there any way you can pull that up uh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. I'll have it in a sec. Starring Zach Efron, the Michael B. Jordan, and Miles Taylor, which was actually, that kid, I actually respect this kid. He was just in the recent, uh, movie that I went to see. Um, that was actually pretty good, uh, but it had a definite weird kind of vibe to it. 
But when you look at these three actors, they're definitely like I don't want to say they're in that with besides Zach Efron, which it seems like they're the ones they're pushing his character as like the lead on this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just it just seems like if you go to see this movie in theaters, you're going to be around a whole bunch of sixteen year olds. Well, I mean, is that the, the 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 you know who they're going for though? I don't I don't think that's what they're going for. I think they're trying to go with a like a more serious vibe. Mm-hmm. But I mean, besides the Miles Teller, I don't, I don't know who. I don't know. It's just weird. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring that to your attention so you could, so you could stew in the weirdness with me. <laughs> uh, we'll keep it here. I, this isn't the type of movie like I, we don't even do like the date movie chick flick thing a lot, you know. Yeah. So this is just going to be like under the radar, and and it's not even a thing for us. So I know this is kind of this is going to do with dishonest because we could probably spend a whole half hour on this topic. But superhero movies, yes, are they becoming too much, or are we just going to soak it up until it's played out? Oh, dude, I'm soaking it up. I, I'm loving it. What are you uh, talking about? Like I, I said I told you before. The only thing I go to and say yes, that's something I'm going to without a doubt. I think the only movies I have gone to over the summer have been superhero movies. Oh man! And I don't. I'm like ah, I can wait for the other ones. I, I can wait for that one. But it's like no, I got to go see what they do with Captain America. I got to go see what they do with Thor, Wolverine. I, I, when it comes to the Marvel and the DC guys, like I, you know, even like RF, the RFPD, like I kind of wanted to see because it felt very Men in Blacky, but it wasn't the franchises. So I'm completely buy into. I want the names. I want the guys that I'm reading in the comic books. I'm actually, and I don't know honestly if this is more um, um, because of technology and and you know I'm reading stuff on tablets or because I'm so excited because of the movies. Yeah, but I'm back to reading comic books. And I'm really enjoying it. I really um, like the soft reboot they did with Marvel uh, with a lot of new titles. Uh, I think it was towards the end of last year. And I'm really enjoying like some of the stuff they're doing with it because they're spending a lot of spinning out a lot of it in the comic books. Uh, but no, I, I I take them just like I haven't honestly seen a bad Marvel movie since Incredible Hulk since they started this. You're talking about the first Incredible. I'm talking Hulk. about no, no. I'm talking about Incredible Hulk, like the uh, the one that came out around Iron Man. Which one are you? Not Edward Norton. I like yeah, the Edward Norton. Yeah, the Edward Norton, Edward Norton one. one. I actually like. Okay, that then I'll. Okay, that's actually came out ever. So ever since Iron Man, I have not seen anything from Marvel in a televised fashion <laughs> that I have disliked. I'm enjoying Agents of Shield for what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I've enjoyed every movie. I own every movie as soon as it comes out on DVD. Uh, I'm completely bought into it. DC, eh, I'll, I'll get man. I enjoyed Man of Steel. I enjoyed Man of Steel. I love what they did with that. I, I would even like to pick up Green Lantern. I didn't think it was half bad. I well, let's, was, let's let me just run down this rundown. We have a Captain America movie coming out. We have a awesome. Thor movie coming out next sure. week. We have a that's next a, week. Yes, Damn, I got to clear my schedule. We have an Avengers movie that is. Most likely, I don't. Is it this year? It's next, next year. year. Next, next year. year. Wonder Woman is being talked about. I see a Wonder Woman potentially being in the uh, Batman Superman one. Now I, I I'm waiting for WB to screw this up. I, uh, I'm waiting for it, man. Can you, can you see the writing on the wall? It, it is. It's like, oh god, we did an Avengers movie. Uh, ben Affleck be Batman quick. You know, it, it really seems. It really seems like it. You yeah. know, I mean, it, it feels like, and I hope. You know, uh, granted, the the legendary and syncope and and the uh, Christopher Nolan people have done so well with this franchise and rebooting it with a new tone with Batman and now with a Superman. I'm hoping that ever, uh, other than I'm hoping everybody's hands off aside from that. And, well, I mean, even the discussion between the fact, you know, is this a Superman movie with Batman? Or is it a Batman movie with Superman? It's like I think they're quietly. You know, you know what I learned? You know, you know what 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 might have been uh, a great show. I don't know if you listen to this. It's called uh, Autopilot. They watch pilots of series, uh, sometimes successful, sometimes not. Huh. Uh, they were actually. Or I'm sorry, I'm mixing it up. Actually, no. Th- which which show was they? Th- were they talking about that? They're talking about Batman. No. How did this get made? I'm mixing my shows. How did this get made? Um, um, which is a lot of the guys from the league, actually. 
uh, doing this. And they did one on Batman and Robin I just listened to. It is an older one. I'm going back to the catalog. Okay. Uh, and they said that like Schumacher was signed for the next Batman. And they were working on the Tim Burton Superman. So and there was oh, there was word about them starting the crossover of World's Finest at that point. <laughs> Could you imagine if the Batman is a Schumacher Batman franchise kept going, Tim Burton Batman ha- or Superman happened, and you have heard the script interestingness over that from Kevin Smith, I'm sure. Uh, where would that could have gone and yeah. what we wouldn't have in the Dark Knight franchise. Or we would have had a lot more reboots. Yeah. Like, oh, so let's, let's just redo it. it. Man, <laughs> yeah, they are not shy about pulling the plug. But no, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I have, don't – I'm excited to see what they do with Batman Superman. Uh, and I, I'm open to it. I think they proved themselves with, with Man of Steel. With, with Zack yeah. Snyder. I'm well, we'll, we'll keep an eye out on it. Mm-hmm. Definitely, Definitely, you know. If you're out there, viewers, you know, definitely let us know what you think about about that. Are you excited to see more yeah, of these know. kind of movies? Um, all right, let's talk about – this was an interesting tidbit of news. I did not realize that we will be receiving three more Avatar sequels. Why, why is this – I'm surprised because I, I – it did well. It did but well. But I thought it was on the premise of the 3D was more what pushed it. It was the first. Hey, this is what 3D is. This is the the this was the killer app for for 3D movies, and I thought they did a very very good job at, at pioneering that. I agree. The the thing about this article that really kind of like threw me off was the Stephen Lang to return to all three Avatar movies. Mm-hmm. The reason why I'm a little confused about that was he was the general. Who is killed <laughs> was he? in the movie <laughs> that we saw? And then they say, well, they are saying in the article here, uh, uh, we're not going to say exactly how we're bringing them back, but it's a science fiction story after all. I mean, look at what they're doing. They're splicing people in and out. Maybe they have his conscious somewhere and they stick it in a blue guy. Yes, and that is you true. Go, right? I mean, it's just like, awkward. This is, it's sci fi. You are in a it's, magical It's almost planet. as bad as comic books, okay? <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's a, and it's magical glowing tree planet yes. with your eight foot tall blue guys. Were you. <laughs> Somebody at work brought up the topic that was anybody confused by the bestiality within this movie where they attach to animals to move around, but they also attach to themselves in order to mate. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> sorry. There you go. That's been there you go. Um, but, but really, I, I, I didn't think the story was awesome enough to warrant more more going on i the way it ended i would agree with you there's a lot that they don't really explain about how they got to whatever that planet was i can't remember how they got to where they were and the evolution of earth to progress to that point all the answers to your questions about this movie and franchise can be uh answered in the unofficial sequel of uh, avatar triple x <laughs> I, I i'm pretty sure so that's already happened and without the 3d i mean I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, honest i would, would be willing, willing to see a prequel i don't really care about the third and fourth one i don't need to see what happens after like i don't think anybody's i i don't know maybe people are interested to see what happens with a planet full of tall blue people but i yeah Four movies. Gosh, camera. I don't get it. It's just that guy. It's building a franchise, man. Oh, He's like, gosh. Got, they got a plan and they'll do it. They're like, this is going to be, everybody wants to do the next Star Wars uh, franchise and say, we got a trilogy. We you are going to milk it for all it's worth. Batman, we got a trilogy. I think it's ballsy to say, hey, we're making three multi million dollar movies with a tons of, ton of CG. Yeah. See you next decade, you know? Oh, well. Well, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because I have a free movie to go to. Uh, I don't even remember what it is now. You just go. You're just like, this is what I do. What did, what, did, what did they tell you when I came in here? Oh, well. It's going to be great. You told me it was not Bad Grandpa. Which oh, was emailed no. Me right when we were it was, about to start yeah, the show. It's Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. So this, this is going to be an interesting one. But – uh. I mean, you will not be able to get too much into depth about the movies coming out this weekend, but we have The Counselor, which just looks – if you see this trailer, 
it just looks confusing. <laughs> but uh, what's the general gist of it? Money laundering, possibly. With <laughs> Boy, you possibly. If you watch the trailer, very clear. I direct you to the trailer. I'll post. Uh, I could post, post it up if you if you can't find it. I'll post it up on Twitter. Later I'll on. have it up here a second. It's, if it loads, I don't know. I'm having some issues. A lot, a lot of, of big, big names, though. I mean, Brad Pitt's in it. Um, Cameron Diaz. A lot of people are in this movie. Mm-hmm. It's a really, a really good cast. cast. There's, There's a chance that this movie could be really good, good but based on the trailer, it's... it's, it's <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then Jackass, Jackass, the grandpa. The grandpa. The grandpa which looks it. good, actually. It, it does looks look like, like it'd be funny. funny. Like, like It's like... like was it somebody? I was listening to a frame rate from yesterday, and they're like, "This has got uh, grandpa, or this has got Borat money all over it." Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks, it looks like it's fun. Is that Johnny Knoxville dressed yep. up as grandpa? Okay. Yep. All right. It looks like they do some fun, ridiculous stuff. I think it'll be an interesting movie. So I'm actually, I'm usually not that like into those, but I've enjoyed all of them. No. Really? Yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought they, were they were funny. funny. I, I didn't go to the theaters. I'm honestly to see never. Those. I don't. I might watch like a Jackass movie when it's like on HBO or something. It is, especially the one in 3D. If you haven't seen that one, it yeah. was it was pretty funny. Okay. And I think it's on Netflix. It might still be on Netflix. Uh, but just another tad note. Uh, there's a movie called Blood Brothers. I don't. I saw it somewhere that it was being released this week. Um, I, I hope, hope it's being it's released in Pittsburgh in theaters. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot of those interesting movies because um, the movie drafts I've been hearing about, um, they're like, yeah, it's been, um, you know, they're getting, they're doing limited releases to get in for the Oscar season, and then they'll pick up the money later when, you know, when when they do get the wide release after they've gotten all the Oscar. Yeah, people off. but I will do a plug um, if this movie is in this area. Uh, definitely, definitely, if you have if you have some time, go support, support these guys. guys. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, uh these these are, these are two, two friends, friends of mine. Of but I mean, this movie's been they won the Sundance Award. Oh, cool. uh, they are from Pittsburgh. So there's a show was, connection. Yep, it was filmed not in Pittsburgh, but it was edited in Pittsburgh. It was filmed in India. Yeah. So my buddy, uh, two stars in it is Rocky Pratt and the awesome. Director is Steve Hoover, mm-hmm. um, and Danny also directed in this. So it's a really good movie. Uh, the guys from Animal uh, Visual Effects are the ones that kind of are back in it. But yeah, hopefully it's in theaters. It might be in some of the, lo- the smaller places, like uh, the Squirrel Hill Manor, maybe those. But definitely go check it out. All right, I've seen it. It's it's. Pretty inspiring. But with that note, my phone is blowing up. I got to go. Got to go see some movies. All right. Uh, let's go check us out. Again, we're on YouTube. Right now, the video is just over at uh, YouTube.com slash Sogatron Media. If you found this on the audio, uh, you can look up the Movie Minute on iTunes. So and then we'll see you next week. Oh, wait. one. Oh, wow. Sorry. I hate this. One last note. Um, the next big movie coming out is, I believe it's November 1st. Okay. Uh, it might be November 8th. I'll have to check. But it is Thor. So I'd like to get a Google Hangout. I'm going to start throwing up some stuff on uh, on Twitter. But yeah, if, if you think you'd want to... Okay, so yeah, if you think you'd be interested in uh, being in the Hangout with Mike and I and talking about that movie, definitely. Awesome. All right. All right, we'll see you guys next week. See you. Yeah!